All right, believe it or not, you are ready to start drawing. So let's talk about starting a brand new drawing. What you'd like to do is, if you can see the Start tab right above the drawing canvas, that large window that says Start Drawing would be one way to get a new drawing up and running. And you see AutoCAD will add your drawing to the list of tabs here at the top. This one is a clean, brand new, shiny new file. Another way to start a brand new drawing is to hit the plus sign at the end of the tab and that will give you another tab or another drawing file. And like we said, you can have multiple drawings open at different times and work in between them. But for what we're doing, we want to start with a clean, fresh, brand new drawing. I will hit the X to close what I had open previously. Right, and let's start talking about some of these drawing tools. So first tool up on the draw panel is the line tool. And if you click on the line tool, and you'll see that AutoCAD is asking you down the command line some questions. So it says specify a point. What's your first point? So um, as you move your cursor around, you'll see down the bottom of the screen, there are some coordinates that are displaying. So the coordinate display tells you where in space, where in Cartesian coordinate space, your cursor is. And wherever you click, it's going to record that location. So I left clicked, and as I move my mouse away, and my cursor to a new location, we see how we started a line, we gave the line a start point, and now it's asking for the next point, or an end point. So what I can do is give it a second click. And notice again, down at the command line, underneath in the status bar, you see a display that tells you exactly where in space the endpoint is. So we'll give a second click. Now the way the line tool works is it will continue asking you for new points and we could draw 10 million lines and it will never stop. If you want to end the command, you're going to either hit escape or hit enter. Both of those things will get you out of the line command. Okay, so lines are individual segments. AutoCAD will ask you one after the other after the other if you'd like to add another point, and if so, where. And it will continue to do so until you end the command by either hitting Enter or hitting the Escape key or hitting the space bar because the space bar does the same thing in AutoCAD that Enter does. So all of those methods allow you to end the line command. So if we click on a line, we'll see lines are individual segments, which means they have a start point, they have an end point, they also have a midpoint. The blue dots are called grips, and if you were to hover over a grip, you'll have some control about changing the line. If you hover over the middle grip, you see how it turns red? Well, if you click on it now, you're able to move that line. Right, that allows us to put our line at a new location. The start point and the end point give you a different function. The grip at the end allows you to reposition the line in a new place. Right, so I can grab the end point and move it to a new location. Okay, so all of these individual line segments can be adjusted by grabbing their grips and either adjusting their start point and end point or moving them into a new location entirely. Now you're going to draw some stuff and uh, at times you're going to want to get rid of that stuff. So the modify tool we learned first is erase. So I clicked on the erase tool and AutoCAD said select objects. So right now I'm selecting objects. I'm picking objects that I want to get rid of and you'll see when I click on them they get ghosted out. They're light gray. And then when I hit enter, those objects will disappear. So the erase command allows you to take lines you've already created and get rid of them. Now what I'm doing right now is I'm doing something called picking. I'm selecting lines by picking directly on top of them. And if you take a look at my cursor, right, my cursor doesn't look like a cursor anymore. It looks like a box. That's called a pick box. And right now.
right now, that little pick box, when I hover over line, it's saying that you can erase that. Little red X is popping up. It tells you that's an object you can erase. So I pick, 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 and when I've got all of my objects selected, I'll hit enter, and they all go away. I'll go back to the line tool, and it says specify first point, and I will give some clicks on the screen in the drawing canvas to specify points. Because I want to show you that AutoCAD has a lot of built-in tools that you might not be aware of if we don't look down at the command line. For example, uh, I'm drawing this shape, and I see one of the options is close. Well, let's see what this does. Now, remember where we started. We started here, and I drew these little peaks, and I came up to here, and if I hit close, See what it did? It brought my segment all the way back to the first point in that string of segments. So the close option of the line tool is kind of cool if you're drawing shapes and you want to just make a close shape, close polygon. There we go. Now the other option was undo. And here's what undo does. It will undo one segment at a time. Now that's a little bit different than the undo button up here. The undo button up there would get rid of all the segments. Right? That's like undo my last action. See, the whole thing is gone if we hit this one. But if we're drawing lines and we have to go back and just get rid of one or two segments, we can step back, step back, step back until we get to where we want. And then we could even combine it with the close command in order to make that close shape there. Okay, so you should try that. Now, there's different ways to create lines in AutoCAD. One way is to go up to the ribbon and click on the line tool. And if you hover over the tool for a second, it'll tell you the name of the tool. And if you leave the cursor over the tool for a few more seconds, you'll get a little tool tip that pops up. And the tool tip gives you information about how the command works, might give you an example of how to use it. So the tool tips in AutoCAD are actually pretty clever. If you don't know what a tool does, just hover over it, and then if you wait a couple seconds, you'll get a more detailed explanation. And then down the bottom of that window, it says press F1 for more help. So like right now, I'm hovering over the erase command. If I hit F1, it'll bring up the help menu, but specifically things related to how the erase command works.